right guys, welcome back to the channel. Life in the Eastern Sierra, and it is time for our inaugural big toe with the new 2023 Ram 2500. We are going camping, as you can see. So, down here, loading up. The trailer sat way too long. Longer than I think I've ever had a trailer sit before. At any rate, she's a little dirty. Some mice made some good nests under the tires, but everything looks fine, fingers crossed. Filled up the tires. All the wires seem to be working. We got everything going. So, lights are on, camera works. Things are looking great. I'm gonna give this puppy a good spray down when we get back to Mammoth to clean it out and get ready for a couple days of camping by the lake. We got the dog fired up. You ready, Rin? All right, well, she's looking good. Let's see if we can see how much squat we have here. Don't think it has much. Let's take a look. Not much squat at all. All right. Yeah, the rear end there is what I'm talking about, how how much weight's on the tongue. Uh, so we'll see, good to know. All right, looks great. We're gonna get on 395 here and head up the, the road, head up the, the big grade there, Bishop the Mammoth. So we're gonna see what this truck's made of, fingers crossed. Uh, she should be a beast, but we're all hooked up. Everything's good, everything's running, everything's checked. The only thing we have to do is test our brakes as we pull out here and we are good to go. All right. Oh, well, let's get this baby up the grade and get her cleaned up. All right, we just did a safety check here on the side of the road before we head up that big pass up there. Pretty good grade. All of our levels are looking good. Everything's hitched up. Trailer tires look good, fingers crossed. Everything's up to temp and running. All right, let's get up this hill. Quiet truck. Holy mackerel. Can't even hear anything. I guess that's good if you like quiet, but I sure do miss the sound of the turbo and, and that nice big inline six rattling around. But hopefully when I upgrade the uh, air box there, I'll get a little more engine noise. All right. We're at the bottom of the grade here. We're about to head on up. Time to put the pedal to the metal here. Gain some speed so we can keep uh, keep it going up the hill here. Let's see what this truck is made of. Okay, we're locked in the fifth gear here. We're cruising in 64, 65. Starting to gain more ground here, more elevation. Let's take a look at our temps. Our temps are looking pretty good. We're gonna slow down here. I'm at 67 all of a sudden. All right, so. Just like my previous Ram diesel, this thing is eating up this grade here. Uh, I forget what the what percent grade is, I'll have to look it up, but granted we're not in the biggest part yet, but we're getting there. And she's cruising along, like I said, locked into fifth gear. And it barely feels, feels like we're towing anything. And I got a 33 foot toy hauler behind this truck. Amazing. All right, let me drop it down here. Going a little too fast up this grade. All right, gotta love that Cummins power. Let's keep it going. Okay, we're at the steepest part here. Cruising up. Still holding 65 at 2,000 RPMs. We are cruising. Temps look good. Transmission temp looks great. Coolant's holding. Oil temp looks a little hot, but I guess nothing to be concerned about. And we are cruising on up. I've been breaking a sweat. All right, let's get to the top of this hill. All right, we're just getting to the top here. Still cruising. Temps still look great. Trans temps have gone down, actually. And here we are, we're almost at the very, very top. But the worst is behind us. Oh, now I jumped up. All right, well, handled like a champ. Unbelievable, in a good way. Man, I love these trucks. So much fun, so much power, 
So much torque on these diesels. Can't even feel it. All right, let's get back to Mammoth, get this thing to the house, clean her up here, and let's get ready to go camp. All right, we just got pulled into the campsite. Everything's set up. No sooner we set up, we got a little view of the lake here, if you can see. We also got some friends right here. There's a couple of deer right here. Rin has yet to see the deer, so we'll see what happens when she sees them. But yeah, I don't know if we can see it. Zoom in here. There they go. People are speeding around, not paying attention. Pretty crazy. People are always in a rush, even on vacation. But yeah, you can see through the trees there, and there's June Lake, and that's right where the beach is. Turquoise blue. There we go. Hi, deer. Rin, be good. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so come on dad let me at him let me at him all right well getting everything set up family's on their way it's one good thing about living in mammoth i can come and set up the site all by myself without trying to wrangle everybody and get everything set up and when they show up everything's ready to go camping but cool all right well getting a refrigerator fired up getting beer on ice and hopefully a nice relaxing evening and day tomorrow at the lake. All right, more to come. Hey dear. Right, it's a beautiful morning here at June Lake and June Lake, California, specifically O Ridge Campground here. A uh, short trip, only two days. We are packing up this morning. Got to get back to reality, kids to school, all that fun stuff. Uh, but yeah, it was a quick little trip. I wish I would have taken more video, but my youngest, my one-year-old, was having a pretty rough time. Poor guy. He's teething on top of that i don't know he's gotten sick don't know what's going on so we're watching that so he was pretty cranky pants yesterday which is unlike him so that's when we know something's wrong so i wasn't able to film too much video because of all the crying and fussiness but at any rate there's a beautiful campground there's several different uh areas where you know we're staying in what they call goal they have one called coyote they have another one a little closer to the lake, but that's mainly for smaller campers. We have a 33-foot toy hauler. But this is a cool little campground. 
and it's amazing uh there's been empty spaces all around us so we're in space 159 which is next to the camp post nice little spot got some good shade here with the trees this next one 158 is pretty cool same thing a little little shade but the uh keep renting all these campgrounds out or these spots out and nobody's showing up to them so this spot next to us talking to the camp host ran it twice in the last two days for one nighters which they i don't think they do i don't remember if they do that on the website or not but yeah they're telling me that same thing it's kind of a, a pandemic if you would of people just renting out spots to rent them to save them for multiple options and then not showing up so I don't know what the solution is to that, but we were going to rent this and invite some friends over and we couldn't because people kept booking online and, and the poor camp hosts were switching them out. People were canceling and, and uh, yeah, it's been a, two days of craziness here. And uh, apparently that's what's going on throughout all these campgrounds. And it's really cool now that the uh, National Forest or, or Recreation.org or Gov it's called, we can go online now and book all these things before you have to show up or or write uh, snail mail to res uh, reserve a, you know, a spot. But now you can do it online. It was great. We did this. I went online, paid my credit card, 33 bucks a night. Can't beat it. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate for people that want to come here only to not be able to book a site. And then the people that book them just don't show up. You know, it's... Uh, a little crazy. Hopefully they'll figure it out or hopefully they're charging people. There should be a, a cancellation or not a cancellation, a no-show fee. Maybe they have it. Maybe they updated. But um, yeah, at any rate, beautiful spot. I might come back here again in a couple weeks here because uh, this place is dead. This is unbelievable. It's so slow. And this is August. We're rolling up to Labor Day weekend here. This place should be packed. But I guess it's going uh, with all the other campgrounds around here. So, all right, well, let's get this trailer hooked up. And we got to get it back down to Bishop and Storin at Storage and get back up to Mammoth for a work day here. All right, let's hit the highway. All right, final test, Sherwin Summit, elevation 7,000 feet. We are coming to what is called the Bishop Grade here. This is our final test here in our first big toe with the new 2023 Ram 2500. Uh, eight miles of downgrade coming up here. You should be able to see the percentage here. I forget. I want to say I forget what it is. But at any rate, we're cruising along. We got our temps here. We're watching our transmission here as we're coming down. We are locked into fifth gear. 6% uh, grade, the sign says. So this is a big one. This is the big test here to see how this does. We're gonna hold in fifth. Probably it's gonna drop down to fourth and hold itself there. And the automatic brake, uh, turbo exhaust brake. We'll see how many times we actually have to touch the brake and see how this does compared to the my old 2018 Ram Cummins 2500. Um, all right, here we go. We are just gonna hit the summit here and cruise down. We're going to hit it at 60 and it'll probably drop down to 55. We'll see how we go here. Coolant's at 190. That'll go up in a minute. Trans temp 169. That will definitely go up here in a minute. And I'm not touching the brake and I know nothing. Let's see what this baby can do here. All right, we're cruising down, downshifted into fourth. Haven't touched the brakes once. The engine, diesel exhaust, turbo exhaust, whatever you want to call it, brake is kicking in. There it goes. Holding at 57. Fingers crossed so far, we're not gear hunting. My 2018 seemed to want to hunt between third and fourth coming down this uh, grade here. So far, we're holding in fourth. We're not hunting. The Turbo exhaust seems to be doing the majority of the work here and not the transmission. As you can see, we keep jumping. I'll try and see if you can hear it, but it's, this truck is so quiet. But so far, we're good. Holding 57 miles an hour and cruising down. There's another turbo exhaust hit. Transmission. 
transmission temp is holding. That's a good sign. Coolant temp, good sign. steep kind of run here. This is the biggest run of this part of the highway here, this downgrade. <coughs> Excuse me. We're still holding 56, 57 miles an hour. Everything's good. Coolant temps, trans temps are still holding. I have yet to touch the brake once. My foot's not even on it. Near it. And we are cruising here. So far, so good. This is a dream. Holy mackerel. In a good way. Four miles left to 6% grade there. Uh, yeah, if this keeps up, this is night and day compared to my 2018. We're still in fourth, no gear hunting, no nothing. And like I said, we're pulling the toy hauler, which is, you know, probably what, between eight and 10,000, eight, 9,000, somewhere right there. Uh, it is empty. I did dump all the water before we hit the highway after camping. So, all right, we're still cruising here. 57 our mpgs are going up all right there we go <laughs> uh but yeah this is a uh, night and day holding forth haven't touched the brakes at all all right well i think we got a winner here folks um gotta love these cummins love this cummins engine and the transmission gets a lot of knock on it the 64 rfe um but so far this transmission seems a lot better than my 2018 version uh, especially, like I said, when it comes with the gear hunting and stuff. And it's, you know, this one is letting the actual turbo do its job with the turbo exhaust brake instead of relying on the transmission. Um, well, yeah, awesome. All right, well, that'll probably do it for this video. We need to get this puppy back into storage here and, uh, yeah, be done with this camping trip. All right, well, highly recommend it. Love this truck so far. Like I said, it's 2023 Ram 2500 Cummins. And it's our first big toe. All right, this was a success. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.